ICR 7000. It's an oldie, but a goodie. One thing it does lack is uh, CTCSS. Uh, not something that everybody wants, but uh, this thing came out 20 years ago and things have moved on to the point where all commercial users and uh, most amateur repeaters are using CTCSS. And this has no way of uh, filtering it on receive or or detecting it and we've got things on the market now like the, uh, the current unitens that can detect CTCSS or DCS in a trice and uh, um, it would be quite useful to be able to um, to, to decode a CTCSS signal or DCS signal with this device now you could possibly take the audio out, uh, filter it and run it through a frequency counter, an audio frequency frequency counter up to 300, uh, 300 hertz and, uh, and that, might, that might just about do the job. But you know there's another way um, which, is, which is quite interesting, you can kind of cascade another receiver off this receiver. Um, there was a provision to fit uh, the TV detector box which just bolted I think on the I've not seen one but it bolts onto the side there and in order to enable that it has a, uh, a socket on the back which uh, which gives you an IF out it's just basically your, uh, your, your 10.7 megahertz uh, intermediate intermediate frequency out which is coming from here on the IF board and it runs along a little grey wire here and, and goes out the back uh, one one very very important thing to note about this is that uh, the uh, the IF um, it's a 10.7 10 megahertz IF that's all fine and, and and well and good but the thing about it is in order to feed that uh, that that uh, television decoder that was on there it had no 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 external power supply it it actually took a DC bias down. The coax cable. So that's that's really um, an important thing to remember. If you plug that output directly into a scanner or any any other sort of radio, you're most likely to do it damage or even test equipment. Uh, so it's a very simple mod, which I've de detailed elsewhere because the resolution, obviously, on video is isn't that good. But uh, this little kitty down here, this little inductor. Um, just needs a little slip, and you, you don't even need to remove the the, the board. You just um, just get in there and snip that little uh, that little choke there, and, and that removes the power, the DC bias from the output, which is a which is a nine volt uh, uh, DC bias, that, which is used originally to drive the TV decoder. We're never going to need that. I'm, I'm never going to need a, an, an analog um, TV decoder, or if I do. I can very simply just uh, put a blob of solder on that to bring the, uh, the DC power back on, on onto the uh, the phone as we put on the back. So anyway, here we are tuned to 150 megahertz, and we have a signal which comes from a signal generator, which is here at uh, 400 uh, hertz and uh, one kilohertz deviation. And the level is uh, minus 3 dB. And that's going in through that uh, cable, excuse the mess, Butler's Day Off and all that. Uh, and that goes into the radio. So there we are, we're just receiving um, a, a, a simple um, 150 hertz signal that's modulated, frequency modulated, uh, at a fairly low level. And uh, that's that. Uh, and the, the, the centimetre is slightly off, isn't it? That's the signal meter. As you can see, we've got plenty of signal there at uh, minus 3 dBs. So that's going into the radio. Now, coming out on that white wire, runs along here, and you can see the 10.7 the, the megahertz IF coming out of the 7000, and that's what it looks like. That's its shape on the spectrum analyzer. Um, and there we are. Yeah, usual sort of bell shape as you'd expect. If I remove the uh, the power, there it's gone, and on and gone and on and gone. So there it is. That's your uh, that's your received signal. Now the usefulness of this is if we take 
that it's quite a low level this actually I, um, I was surprised how low it was um, but this IF is quite low I'm going to pop that onto there which is um, an ICR 20 and there it is you see if I turn the 7000 down there is it's got an attenuator on There is the um, the decoded audio. Now that you can leave um, when you, when you're operating this, obviously you can leave the uh, the the other receiver, the cascaded receiver, on 10.7 megahertz all day long, and it will just track. Here's me tuning tuning on there, and um, we're obviously listening to the IF, which is a constant. Um, well, this particular IF, there are three of them. I think it's triple conversion, isn't it? This is a, a constant 10.7 megahertz. So whoopie doo da, and uh, and of course you can uh, do your uh, your tone scanning there, or um, do various stuff as if you're actually listening on on this radio. So that's marvelous. One thing um, the Unidons, which which decode a lot faster than this, don't uh, do is go down to 10.7 megahertz. They they start at 25, I believe. Which is a shame, isn't it? Um, but then maybe you can triple 10.7 megahertz and uh, uh, and use the uh, the instant uh, CTCSS and DCS decoding features of the Uniden series um, in order to uh, to uh, do, well do stuff with this radio that um, was never conceived in in those in those times when when it came out. So yeah. There it is. Okay.